Hello there, how are you doing? So it's time for us to start working on this project. Now, uh, I want to tell you one thing that I will be uh, coding in kind of, kind of a live coding style, okay? So uh, just think of me as a, you know, someone or your friend sitting next to you and you, uh, you know, learning with me and we're building something together, okay? So feel that, feel that kind of a environment, all right? So I have opened up the terminal here and I'm going to use a create react app. Okay, so I'm sure you you have heard or maybe not. In fact, let's let's go and check it out. Let's go and check it out in the Chrome. Let's open up a new window. Let me scale it down. I made this screen really small so that you know I can show you exactly what you need to see. Nice and big HD video, you know. Okay, let's keep it here. So let's go to uh, react.js.org. And then as you can see, what you can see here, get started. Getting started, yes. And installation, try react. No, not this one. What you can do is add react to a new app. What is this? It changed, oh yeah, the create react app. So npm install dash g install globally. That's what I've done already. Just run this command copy and then, and then what you can do is you can simply paste and enter. In fact, let me do it again, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to install this react app, create react app globally, dash g means globally. Okay, it's done. Now we are ready to start using this command to create any project from anywhere in our uh, computer how great is that All right so create react app and what do we call it we call it react redux virus oh i was thinking about making it kind of a diary application so let, let me name it diary okay oh just a second i'm on the root so let mm -hmm. me get inside a folder somewhere so I'm in the root directory. What I'm going to do is you can create a new folder or uh, use any folder you, you like. In my case, I'm going to go inside for React. There's a folder there, React, and it has just one uh, project there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this command. Create React app and let's name it diary. So if you have slow internet, it might take a few minutes otherwise uh, it doesn't take that long okay so it is a really really a friendly process here so you can see a yarn start to start the development server and build to build the generate the html css javascript file so for the production which we'll do at the end yarn test for testing eject if you wanna because this is a, a compact uh, create react app you don't actually see the webpack, the config file and things like that behind the scene. If you need to eject and get access to all that, you can run that. But once you do that, you can come back to this one, okay? So in our case, you don't, we don't need to. In many cases, you don't need to. This Create React app is awesome in its own. And, you know, there's a lot of support in the development field. Even in Heroku, I saw this Create React app. You can deploy straight away, okay? So cd uh, cd diary okay cd let's cd into it and what i'm going to do is we need to install a couple of packages so before i start this application let's install some of the ones i remember such as we need firebase obviously firebase package so what you can do is you can do npm uh, install firebase right and the package name so and you can add more and more of that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to instead use yarn okay so it's up to you, you can use um you can use npm but i found yarn to be better because sometimes things doesn't work and you have to delete the node modules and do it again and this that's my experience okay so just feel free to use either so use the, either use yarn if you use yarn you do add yarn add and the package name if it's npm, so npm installing package name, okay? So once you are inside this folder, yarn add firebase, and what else we need? We need obviously firebase redux, react redux, 
Now this redox is a separate thing and react is a separate thing. So this package helps us connect react and redox. Okay. So you must have heard redox is something you can even use. Don't have to use with the react. You can use with the redox as oh sorry. You can use with the angular as well. So this is kind of a different uh, environment. So this helps us react redox helps us connect. Okay. So we'll see that in action. So, 5s redux react redux mm, react router dom react router dom what else oh this is one of my favorite redux dev tools e x t e n s i o n okay redux dev tools extension this is an extremely beautiful um, extension okay you can see it in the browser all right, so that's all we need. Let's hit enter. So I'm sure if you, before you're trying this, you have NPM and everything installed. If not, you can simply go to node and then install our node and all that. So I'm pretty sure you have already, okay? So what we can do is we can do yarn start or NPM start to start this application and see, let's have a look what we have here. Hooray! Awesome, right? Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so in the next video, let's uh, let's uh, start um, working on this one. Let's uh, open up the folder, have a look at the folder structure, get ourselves comfortable, and do all that stuff. Okay, so I'll see you in the very next video. Thank you.